Well, here we are with my one meter ultimate biplane, uh, patterned after the Goldberg kit, uh, the Blue Hawk, I guess it was called. Some modifications. I used an Epler 479 aerobatic section, wing section, which is a bit thicker than the uh, than the one in the kit, the balsa kit, and that's because it's being foam board. Uh, I wanted something that was stiff and strong without adding too much weight. It does have, um, I'm sorry, it doesn't have a, a wood spar. So we'll see how that goes. And then uh, this portion, turtle deck, canopy, basically all the top and the cowling under here, this is the hatch and landing gear are all 3D printed. Same with these uh, struts on the outside and the middle, uh, 3D printed of my own design. Just trying to have a nice form to this wing, symmetrical wing, and went pretty well. I'm pretty happy with the result. We'll see how it flies. That's ultimately uh, going to be the, if I enjoy flying it, <laughs> will be the uh, test, the ultimate test of whether this is the ultimate biplane. Uh, let's see, any other features? So it is pretty stiff. Able to kind of hold it by the top wing. Here we are on the bottom. This is the hatch. I'm running with an 1800 battery. And I've got 25 grams of lead, which isn't much in the front, but I also have this spinner. I tried with a plastic spinner, I couldn't get it to balance um, well enough. And think it be in pretty good shape. The weight of it with the 200 gram battery, the weight is uh, 1,210 grams. The motor, which is a 2836, uh, 1,000 kV motor and a 10 by 4.7 prop. This is a carbon fiber prop. Uh, should be able to pull 14, 1450 grams. So this is not going to be a 3D plane. It should be a pretty decent sport plane. If not, uh, actually this cowl comes off pretty easily. Redo the motor mount and put a bigger motor on there. And maybe a lighter spinner because the motor would be heavier. So that would be a potential upgrade in the future. And so we are ready for Maiden. Do a couple, another, another shot here, kind of from the back. Really good size. I think this, this will be pretty nice. It's essentially the same size as my Sopwith Camel. Sort of the same, same, similar construction method, except the Sopwith Camel has a flat bottom wing. And this one is, I'm excited for a Maiden, hopefully soon. Here we are with the Maiden for the Ultimate Biplane. It's a foam board and 3D printed uh, with PLA. Here's some drone footage. Just kidding. Okay, absolute gorgeous day, no wind, about 65 degrees, your first thing in the morning here, right, left, right, left, up, down, got a lot of elevator there. little 
trim. It looks like it's turning right a little bit. Definitely turning right. I use an instant trim here on my Radio Master with Edge TX. So I think it's good enough I can start using trim tabs. I haven't gone full throttle yet. It seems. Okay, I gave it some down. Seems pretty good. That's full throttle. Not ballistic, a little ballistic, but not infinite. As I mentioned in the overview video, it's got an Epler 479 aerobatic wing, which is really thick compared to the uh, the Goldberg Balsa model. So it's not going to be as fast. Still getting used to it. Let's try a roll, see how it does. Oh, rolls well. Ailerons aren't that big. I didn't know it would roll. Well, it does, but there are four. Try a knife. Oh, yeah, knife's pretty well. We should do a do a stall test and balance check. First with the balance. Balance is alright. Didn't nose down or go up. Good. If I did, went to 45 and it went up, that means it was tail light or tail heavy. Nose heavy if the nose had come down faster. So it's a little bit nose heavy. I'm going to take off that. Uh oh, I lost trim. So something came out. It is time to land. Something on the aileron, I think, came out. One of the push rods was a little short on the aileron. I'm suspecting that's what came out. And nope. Wheel. Uh oh. Something shorted there. Oh, when it twisted. Shorted. It's a bummer. That's a nice motor. Oh, there goes the ESC. I gotta get the battery out. Okay, battery seems good. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a rarity. So hopefully the no the motor's toast. Why did it come out? Motor mount failure. Pretty sure the motor's toast. Super hot. Okay, one of the more exciting maidens. Uh, <laughs> back 
through the drawing board on the motor mount. I think what happened is the motor mount got really hot. Yeah, and the screws pulled through. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, the mounting screws pulled through. And then the question is the power. Do I just go with a little bigger motor? Because this one flew well, but definitely not. I mean, could use a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, that's using PETG on the motor mount, and they got hot. Something was going south. Probably the ESC, is my guess. It's not the, wasn't the best ESC, so I'm gonna definitely upgrade. I'm gonna go with 40 amp. And we'll do something, I'll change the motor mount so that I can So that I can um, get some washers in there. Maybe go a little thicker, but the heat is what's killing it. This motor's really hot. Okay, well, I got plenty of other planes to fly today. I'm gonna call that an unsuccessful maiden, but did learn. So for the ultimate biplane, I've now completed really almost all the parts, just the bottom I haven't finished. I'm going to do that after I get everything else assembled. Uh, so I'll start gluing the fuselage, finishing up the tail. Uh, the wings turned out very nicely using the Nepler aerobatic airfoil. Uh, little caps for the end of the wing. Here are the patterns. I used the one wing pattern for uh, basically eight different sides of the wings, top and bottom, left, right, top, upper and lower. Symmetrical, that's the elevator, and that's symmetrical. Uh, vertical stabilizer, and here's the fuselage, again, symmetrical. I find that if, when I do it symmetrical, I get better uh, uh, consistency side to side. Um, and then we got our struts. They may be a little weaker than I than I really want for the middle, but we'll see. And I am ready to glue. So these are all the painted parts. I, actually, before I glue, I may put some vinyl color on the wings and the tail. Uh, fuselage. I don't actually need anything. Time to go. So, tail is done. I just need to fold the fuselage. I took the paper off the reinforcements before gluing them to the sides. It helps the foam will let you slide it around. So I was able to kind of fit things pretty well tight and uh, pretty happy with how that, that went. Okay, so I've got parts uh, all built up and some of the livery done. I'm going to do some more, but <clears throat> I want to get it together before I finalize it. And I'm going to start with the bottom wing.